The campaign trail continues to run through Wisconsin for both presidential candidates, and Wednesday, it was Northeast Wisconsin. I'm your DePere neighborhood reporter Carl Winter, and vice presidential nominee Senator J.D. Vance visited Amerilux International. A crowd of around 250 came to the distribution company to hear Vance speak, and the senator spent the first 10 minutes of his speech taking aim at Vice President Kamala Harris' record. Kamala, day one was 1,300 days ago. What the hell have you been doing on time? Vance contrasted Harris policies with those of his running mate, President Trump, saying housing and food costs are too high under Harris and President Biden and focusing on energy production in the United States. Donald Trump's message and solution is simple. Drill, baby, drill. Open up America's energy markets and get it from our own workers. American-made manufacturing was a key topic for another speaker Wednesday, congressional candidate Tony Weed, who says he aligns with Trump and Vance on steep tariffs. Tariffs can be used as a tool in order to really negotiate good, fair deals and good, fair trade with other countries in order to bring jobs back here, good, strong manufacturing jobs right back here to this country. I asked Vance about his campaign's ability to win the Badger State with a third-party candidate still on the ballot. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will remain on the uh, ballot here in Wisconsin. The Wisconsin Election Commission says, despite him trying to get off of it in swing states, how do you think that affects yours and uh, former President Trump's campaign? I think it's ridiculous that RFK has endorsed Donald Trump. He has petitioned to be taken off the Wisconsin ballot, but a bunch of bureaucrats are going to keep his name on the ballot because they think it'll hurt Donald Trump. I think we're going to win Wisconsin anyway, and we're going to fight for every single vote. That's our plan. Winning Wisconsin is something state Republican leader Brian Schimming says the Trump campaign is prioritizing. Green Bay, the Upper Fox Valley, uh, northeastern Wisconsin is probably the top place in the state. There's a lot of swing voters up here. Uh, it's been critical. This comes after Senator Elizabeth Warren was in northeast Wisconsin on Tuesday. Former President Trump scheduled to be in La Crosse Thursday. And both President Biden and vice presidential nominee Tim Walz scheduled to be back in Wisconsin next week. In De Pere, Carl Winter, NBC 26.